Other interesting cultural news, you have citizens censored at a town hall meeting for complaining against the influx of migrants. Now, this comes with thanks to and wokeness on the good old ex Twitter, when she says, quote, Watch, must watch, residents of Scalicutra, Alabama, blast their city council members over the influx of migrants that have invaded their town. The city council shut down the previous meeting when residents tried speaking about, out about the migrant crisis. This got around 1 million views in a couple of hours uh, when I posted it. See here? I'll try to boost the audio best I can post-production because natively it's a little soft for this clip or a little, a little low here, even if I'm cranking it up all the way here. I'm Charles Mackin, my address is... Um, I basically wanted to reiterate kind of what she was saying. Um, as far as respectful, as far as speech goes, I don't think... I think respectful speech is definitely not... But non-respectable speech is still protected speech. And this is a public forum, so we have every right to say what we have in our opinion, in our minds and our opinions while we're here. Stating that, I wanted to ask you guys... Um, I hope you guys don't want to play dumb about it, but a lot of people in Silicaga and the surrounding area are concerned about the migrant influx that we're seeing and how that's going to change our way of life. Maybe you don't live in town. Maybe you guys live in a nice neighborhood. Maybe the money is that great. I would like to know how much money you're getting from the federal government to ignore this problem or be complicit in enabling, because either way, it's happening. And it's not happening against your knowledge. It's obviously happening in your city. So you know what's going on. And you wanted to shut down the meeting last time, which means we're going to talk about it this time and hopefully not shut down the meeting because we have the freedom to speak in this country. And uh, I wouldn't be here unless I saw that, but uh, I found that very disrespectful and very much against our human rights here in this country. And also, with the influx of these migrants, it's against my human right to be trampled on and to have my economy and my housing prices skyrocket because of federal housing vouchers are going to raise the cost of, of uh, housing in my city due to the influx of migrants. Okay, because we all know how that works. A landlord, all they have to do is just tell the feds that it's $5,000 a month for this little old one-bedroom apartment or whatever. And it's really only, what, 800 bucks a month? But at the same time, we're getting our money from the federal government. It's raising prices on everything else around us in the community. It's, it's hurting us. It's raising tax values on properties. And it's not people coming in with a whole bunch of money that want to spend money in Silicaga and boost the economy. It's people that are coming here. They're not like immigrants of the past, all right? They're immigrants that are coming in here and getting free houses, free phones, free health care, and not having to do a damn thing for it because it's like an invasion. And as far as I know, all I see are military-aged males. When I walk into the Walmart around here, it feels like I'm in a third-world airport. And I don't see a whole lot of families. So what's going on is what I want to know. And it's not fair. It's against our rights. We did not consent to this. And the people are pissed. I'm one of them. Apparently, I'm probably the only one that's here tonight, unless anyone else um, wants to add to what I have to say. But um, it's my duty as a citizen of this country to tell you what you're doing wrong and to stop it. And to respect our borders, respect the people of this nation, respect the progeny that built this nation, the ones that built this nation. And uh, you realize you're opening a can of worms that is going to cause a whole lot of issues for our state. I've lived in other states. I've seen it. And you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna add to crime. You're going to have different groups of people at odds with each other. It's not what you might think it is. In fact, it's the opposite of what they tell you it is. It's not always that great. And uh, when you start having hotels and apartment complexes taken over by, uh, by like-minded individuals and they all get together, you know, what are you going to do? You're going to stop that? If you can't stop that, then we're going to have to stop it. You understand? So I want something to be done about this, and it's going to be done. Whether it's you guys or someone else. Yeah, there we go. They got one million views, and yeah, different times. It's uh, it used to be. I mean, America used to be called a melting pot because everyone who came here would assimilate. And they all waved the American flag. They had pride in the founding fathers' ideals. I mean, there's a reason when my family came from Cuba. They'll never see any of us with a, a Cuban flag. No one's gonna be. No one's gonna be shilling for that. You know, Mister Castro or his bastard son, alleged bastard son, Mister uh, Trudeau, over in this court over in the repress the very oppressive country of uh canada because again you come here you love america you want the american opportunities you're working like hell to you know 
push and make a better life for yourself and your family and your friends. And yet, yeah, I really don't see a lot of simulation anymore. We see a lot of other countries' flags when people come here. But that's one of the biggest issue, biggest differences we've seen in the past couple of years. Also, in terms of resource allocation, a lot of these cities simply can't sustain it. I mean, they have finite resources when it comes to, you know, public education, which, granted, I'm not a fan of. But also, you have things like fire, police, and all those hire and have resources based on population, and they have budgets based on population. And when you just have these massive influxes, you just don't have it. it. Just the math doesn't add up. So I think you're going to see more and more people frustrated. And again, it used to be taboo. People wouldn't speak out about this. But when you see this big culture shift in the United States, especially the past couple of months, people are bringing up, bringing up these things more and more. I'm also wondering why the hell do we pay taxes when so much goes to other countries that people can't point to on the map and people who don't work for a living. When and if, America, if folks are really good at math or just, you know, basic math, just it's, I can't help but think that it'd be quite depressing or maybe a revolution tomorrow to figure out how much the government's stealing from you. I mean, just figure if you max, if you're in the upper income level in the United States, you like work like hell, working 60, 70, 800 hours a week. Well, think the feds steal, I mean, tax 40%. Maybe your state takes 10%. And that's just the income taxes. And maybe another 8 to 10% on sales taxes. Then you have property tax, you have gasoline tax, electric tax, telecommunications tax. Yeah, I can't still can't fathom or get over property tax paying for something you already own. It's ridiculous to say the least. But then you have to register your car, so that's another tax on that. You also have inheritance tax. You have capital gains tax. Kamala also have unrealized tax, uh, capital gains tax as well. It's and you have alcohol tax, tobacco tax. You have the NFA tax stamp from 1934. You still have to pay for. In of every dollar we earn, how much is really ours at the end of the day? It's Quite depressing if you take time to think about it. Now, going into the comments section, the one well, the first one is coming from Wall Street Silver saying, quote, why are city councils trying to hide what they are doing with the Biden Harris administration to flood these cities with illegal migrants and in one thousand likes? Mr. Bibblesworth memes says illegals are taking resources that should be made for citizens. Looks like he has a screenshot from the AF Post saying eight thousand Haitian immigrants to Springfield signed up for Medicaid over the past three years. In 208 likes. So it was not a meme, it was appreciated as an, and an informative picture. Paul Zupa says, quote, Why do residents pay their taxes when they're spent on illegals instead of residents? In 373 likes, which, yeah, that's a good question. Going down more and more, you have Malcolm Flex saying they need to be getting more vocal about this. Let us, letting a city in the deep south be overrun by, by this is indicative of the plans. They want to choke out small town America. Getting 283 likes. Also doesn't help with all the increased regulation. They shut down a lot of businesses and also, in, also force businesses to outsource. Thereby destroying more and more small towns and communities. You have Nick J saying, I wonder how much these cities are being paid by the federal government to abandon their citizens. Getting 204 likes. Hello, I'm Kelly Joe. says, quote, Kamala is trying to remake America without American citizens. Getting 160 likes. Tyler says, why do citizens not have more power to hold their politicians and council members accountable? Getting 96 likes. I'm not sure about the election cycle for that particular city or that specific area, but most positions I would think is a one year in terms of they get to, you know, they're in office for a year before you can actually, you actually run against them or you primary them or you try to recall them. There are mechanisms, but most people who work like hell and most people are productive usually don't go to the public sector and don't try to go into office pretty expensive to run for a mayoral position or just it's not just time it's also you have to spend money on campaigning and it becomes a career for better i would argue mostly for worse but a lot of people don't want to do that it's just not worth their time or their headache that is unfortunate because we need to change we need more people who are business oriented or so just geez, just bounce a damn checkbook well more realistically nowadays credit card to be in the government since our government also wastes more money than ever before Passing $35 trillion in debt. Ridiculous. I'm not sure where they're getting these facts from. They don't really get a resource link, but Billy the Goat, or Billy the Goat says, quote, and I have no idea where this number is coming from. They claim, quote, it costs $450 billion a year to care for illegal aliens. The Democrats refuse to build a wall for $10 billion because it's too expensive. Being 20 likes. Again, and then you have a picture of that one of the illegal aliens who... I forgot if he just he assaulted a couple of police officers and he was arrested. He literally and he got out on bail for a couple like next to nothing. He actually just flipped off the cameras. 
completely lack of respect. Getting 20 likes. Rick Danu says all across America this is happening. Getting 38 likes. Let's see. We also have Anthony Galley saying, quote, bust out of Michigan because people there voted for Whitmer D. Michigan will turn red real quick once everyone turn uh, everyone turns into Springfield. Getting 58 likes. Yeah, I think, and again, illegal immigration, oh, just uh, illegal aliens, and again, just having basically no, legal immigration really isn't controversial. I think most of the people will contend with, you know, being long and cumbersome and expensive in terms of the processing, but in terms of illegal immigration, I think that will be one of the biggest political topics, and culturally speaking, I think we're having more and more people becoming more vocal about it, and people are starting to realize, especially independents, people in the middle are starting to realize, well, when we don't have a resource allocation to accommodate for these people coming here, they're not paying into the system. I mean, you're just quite literally stealing resource allocation from people who are paying into the system well, via sales taxes, income taxes, and all that kind of stuff. Although, a little sorry, look at it there. In theory, everyone pays their sales tax when they buy things. I don't worry about it. But uh, yeah, I think more and more people are going to become more vocal about this. But And, and it will be a huge, a huge topic for the upcoming election. But let me know in the comments. Have you seen this in similar small towns? Do you think this trend will continue? And again, it's estimated between... 11 and 20 illegal million illegal aliens have crossed the border in the past 40 months. It's I mean, more of the population of most states. But let me know in the comments because, as always, be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, try to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know that I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your co-workers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.